if we if we believe that there won't be any petrol cars left, um, you know, at some point in the future, it's unrealistic to think that, uh, you know, a hundred owners in their own parking bays will all be using public infrastructure to charge their car, right? Yeah, so look, what I would observe there is that individual buildings will make their own choices. Uh, it may be the case that some buildings, for whatever reason, choose not to support EV charging within the building. Uh, it is ultimately a choice for the owners in the building to make. The observation that we'd make there is that if the building doesn't support any EV charging at all, then the people who do switch to EVs, to your point, will need to charge their car somewhere else. That'll mean off the property, it'll mean less convenient, it'll probably mean slightly more expensive. But the real impact on the owners of that building will be property prices. Yeah. Uh, because if someone is considering an apartment they want to buy, and they're thinking they might own an EV, one of the things they're really going to want to be able to do is charge their car in their allocated parking space. If someone's renting an apartment and they own an EV, and uh, renting in apartments is very, very common, right? So overall in this country, about one third of people rent, but in apartments, the renter population is much, much higher. If you're owning an EV and uh, renting the place you live, you absolutely will want to be able to charge that car in your allocated parking space.